Hello, happy DIYers and woodworkers. Me and here with Heartwood Art, and this is part two of our pallet board crate build. In part one, we took our measurements for the total height and width, and then we cut our plywood for the top and bottom. In part two today, we'll add the rails to the top and bottom plywood. So let's get started. Well, here I am in the shop and we're gonna build up the top for this rustic doggy kennel. And here's the bottom complete so you can see it in something other than a still shot. You can see I have a nice piece of plywood there and one by twos all the way around it. So I'm gonna set this aside and let's build up another one. Now, I've got another sheet of uh, plywood here, and I'm not actually going to measure this. I'm going to put it right on the piece and mark it from there because one by twos are notorious for bowing or twisting or whatever, and for a rustic dog kennel, that doesn't matter, but it's hard to get them accurate when they're that way. So, one of the things that you can do is pull this over to the side where you can, because it's kind of long the way it's sitting now, and put a clamp on it to help hold it in position while you're marking. And that's one of the reasons I just love these Irwin clamps because they let me do it one-handed. Let's see if I can open that up. There we go. And I'm gonna let that hold it in place for me while I look over here and I'm gonna get down on it so I can see the line. I don't wanna do it at an angle because I do need it to be accurate. There's my line. Quick release. We're going to take it over the miter saw. Always do your safety gear. And let's check her fit. right on the money. So I'm going to pull this out just a little bit and I'm going to stand up and get out of the frame. I don't sit much in the shop. I just do it for the videos, right? Okay, that looks pretty good. And I always keep a little plastic bag handy for taking the glue off because I'm going to do this with my fingers. I'm going to flip that over, put this rough side down. Squeeze that little glue. And then smooth that out with my finger. I've heard that popsicle sticks actually work pretty well for this. I've got some. I'll probably have to try that at some point. Okay, flip it over. Get it into place. Make sure that it's even. And this is where these handy clamps come into play again. Now I'm not going to put it right at the end because I need to brad nail toward the end. So I'm going to come inside just a little bit. Of the ends. Now you need to be real careful. When you do this part of it because these brad nailers are great tools but they do shoot things up really hard so don't ever have you or your hand over where you're shooting in and i'm gonna get down below this and shoot these in turn around the other way stool I just don't sit much and that's just gonna have to go and you can see the video on how I made that stool too if you want to all right I love this brad nailer makes life so easy and simple it's heavy all right get my hand away from it Do one more at the end. We're going to switch hands for that. It's fun to be ambidextrous. All right. 
Yep, it's that fast. And now we're going to finish all the rest of the sides. Wasn't that easy? And that's it. Well, be sure to look above or below this video for part three where we'll add the upright supports. And if you're enjoying this build, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and come on over and visit me at heartwoodart.com for easy shop builds. And I'll see you in the shop.